All right, hey guys. <clears throat> We're gonna play for a little bit more. Not too long, but hold on. That is my computer. Okay, just my, my hard drive is going crazy. Oh well. So as I said, short set, yeah, half an hour or something. All oh, the clocks got awesome. Uh, so let's see. Logan's force is flood. Grey Worms are dead, so, they, <laughs> so is the king. Um, Flemeth, in which the wilds were still alive. Looks like me and Alistair are the last two Grey Wardens. Wait, what do you have you to say for yourself? Speak to mother, blah, then blah, 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 blah. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and it would be best to get an early start. I will stay and make something to eat. Well, that's fun. Oh. Okay. Um, the chest is locked. It is begun. Why is my computer going crazy? I have no idea. Hey, it's Alistair. See, Weird. Oh. here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. No, I'm fine. I'm not, thanks to Morgan's mother. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Mm -hmm. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Yes. So why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Maybe. <clears throat> of course not. But we were fighting the Dark Spawn. The king had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Because he's an asshole. Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Hmm. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is this Archdemon exactly? I don't know. Is it a dragon? Is what? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. Go on. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. True. Then we need to find this archdemon. By ourselves? <clears throat> no Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Olay had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. Arl Eamon? The Arl of Redcliffe? Who? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsme. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Keep in mind that Loghain was also an honorable man. The Arl would never do what Tan Loghain did. I know him too well. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Hmm. We need the rest of the Grey Wardens, don't we? Yeah. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. We do. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. 
I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. Hmm. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? <clears throat> Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? I think it is. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. <sighs> yes, thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can... If you say your daughter... The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? what? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? Nope. You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. <laughs> repayment? <laughs> I can get Morgan out of her hair. Very well. We'll take her along with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, mm. these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, however. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. Oh, damn. I understand. <clears throat> and you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. <sighs> I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allow me to get my things, if you please. Where are your things, Nora? I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Uh... Hmm, so I, no, I prefer you speak your mind. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Uh, Dear crap. sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Ugh. <sighs> We do 